everyone, welcome to my cro crochet nook. My name is Linda, and today is podcast 81. I've got a few whips to share with you today. Um, no finished projects as of so, uh, as such, um, but I just want to go through um, some things that I'm working on at the moment. But first, I want to show you this. Um, I get crochet nook. Uh, crochet now um, magazine that uh, Rick, Rick paid for subscription for Christmas so I get a Christmas present every month guys <laughs> so um, there's some really nice pick, uh, um, projects in here but what I want to show you is something that came with it and it's a round the block pattern book and they're all blankets and they're really some nice um, blankets using all different shapes so you've got triangles you've got hexagons you've got squares so it's not a blanket beautiful um, and then it tells you all about blocking and that but I just want to show you the blankets so that's the polka dot blanket for a baby and that is by Frank and Olive and then there's this one, this is nice this is by Lina Fedotava, Fedotava. and if you look it's vicious isn't that cool? but good way of uh, using your scrap yarn isn't it? and then we've got, this is nice this is by Zoe Potrack and this is, um, look at that, isn't that gorgeous? It's called the Kaleidoscope Blanket. And then we've got Geometric Heart by Ashley Kelly. These are DK or three weight yarn. And this is by Angela Hatton. Um, flowers in my basket, lovey. And last but not least, we've got um, the cool citron chevron set, where it's um, you can. Um, make a cushion cover as well so you've got a cushion cover and a blanket but I thought I'd just share that with you because I think they're, they're lovely aren't they um, projects that I'm working on guys um, I'm working on three at the moment the fourth one I'm waiting for the knitting needles but I will show you if that's knitted so the cro two crochet projects I'm working on are um, I'm using um, Ice Yarns Linen, uh, which is 50% linen, 50% viscose in white. And um, what I've done is this will, I've done four granny squares. And um, then if you notice, there's a shell in the pattern. And then what I'm doing, um, it'll sit like that on your back and then out of this side and this side will be two arms and I'm doing shells so as you can see I've made a start I'll bring it closer so you can see I've done the shells and then you do three rows of chains and then you do um, the, um, the shell again but in alternate alternate and then to uh, then the rib around it the frill around it will all be fans or shells whatever you want to say so that is the pattern that I'm using um, it's really nice yarn it'll look lovely when it's uh, blocked obviously and I'm, I'm really pleased I mean a bride will look lovely wearing that you know on a special day and um, then so that's whip number one Whip number two is by Ivy B Creates 
and hits her wild and free um, top and that's what I've done so far I'm only on row 9 at the moment so I need to get my get my need to get my fingers out guys and get that sorted and I'm using bramble wood yarns which are based here in my hometown and uh, this is the colour all different shades of purple so it goes from um, lilac to lavender to um, like a, a pinky purple then we go on to purple then we go on to really dark aubergine purple you know aubergine's the colour of the skin that reminds me of that so there are two of the projects I'm working on hold on I've got two hooks in here and one shouldn't be in here three that goes in there that goes in there had and um, the next one I'm working on um, you know I'm all do I'm doing the socket to me challenge 2022 with Kim from Kim crochets and knits well I've already done one pair and I'm trying to do two pairs a month from now until Christmas and um, this is what I've done so far so I've done the heel turn so it's like that it's a little shorty shorty sock I've never done one before but um, that's what I've done so far uh, I'll show you the pattern there's the pattern um, and that so excuse me so they're the three that I'm actually working on I'm hoping to make a start on this next one which I'll just bear with me and um, I'm going to be using this is this sweater and I've got this from Ravelry and it's by Valentina Bogdan Bogdanova Lacey 8 it's called and that's the sweater I'm just waiting for my needles to arrive which hopefully will be today and I'm going to use twister in this magenta colour um, and uh, we all know that I love twister it's washes absolutely beautiful and it's beautiful to work with guys absolutely I love it it is a two weight and it is 55 cotton 45 acrylic so it's an, a nice cotton acrylic blend really nice to wear I, I just love this cotton I really do love this cotton acrylic blend and I think that's all today um, thank you to everybody who joined the live and the um, into hashtag doing a Linda interview unfortunately as I said in the uh, live last night today's Thursday so last night that Holly had an emergency at work and couldn't make it so I want to thank Bridget from Queen's Craft by Bridget she was a, a sport really good sport she's very very talented guys I will put her link to her channel in the description box below please go check her out show your support I would really appreciate it um, on the holly front um, hoping to rearrange for later in the year and what else have I got mm. oh members only I've got a members only live after my live next Wednesday and um, I'll put notification in the um, community page this weekend so you can click the reminder and that and I can't think don't think there's anything else um, oh keep a lookout for a book review which will be coming out in a couple of weeks Kristen Amdahl's new book I've been asked to do a review for it so uh, that's coming out in a couple of weeks I'm still waiting for the book to arrive once the book arrives then I will be doing the review 
Um, so yeah, I'm really excited guys, lots of new things in July. Can you believe we're near the end of June? Don't know where this month's gone guys, but I tell you what, it's very hot out, hot here today. So um, I've got to go and do some messages and um, I will see you all on Saturday for the challenges monthly review of what we've all been up to and um, I hope you're all well. I want to welcome all my new subscribers and all my existing subscribers. Thank you all so much for coming back, giving thumbs up, commenting because um, without you guys I wouldn't have this channel so thank you thank you thank you from the bottom of my heart thank you I enjoy doing what I'm doing on YouTube I hope you enjoy it too so take care stay safe but more importantly guys be kind to you and have a fabulous fabulous weekend bye for now